Hey guys, this is Katie the Messy Silver at Royal Appleberry, and today I'm doing the cutting video of my drawing a peacock with soap. I think that's what I called it. But as you can see, that doesn't look like a peacock. <laughs> um, I had a little mishap. I don't know what happened, but I put it on the shelf so it can go ahead and do its thing. And I remember I wanted to do something else to it, and when I picked it up, it had just, I don't know. I'll, I'll insert some pictures. It's really hard. for me to explain what happened but it just kind of broke apart and then it slid it was just a mess so I just decided to take a skewer and swirl like my life depended on it and I do love the way that this turned out I mean they're very very pretty but um and I do plan to make another peacock soap just uh not right now so I have my mom here because you guys know that I am absolutely horrible horrible at cutting freehand so she's gonna cut freehand for me and I'm gonna watch but uh she already cut these here so they're going to be some decent sized bars. Uh, they're thinner, but they're they're a nice size. And if you want them smaller, you can cut them in half. But I really, really do like the way that swirl turned out. Most definitely. Um, so I'm not I'm not heartbroken about it. At least I was able to draw a peacock to see if I could, and I did. So I will do it again. But I'm kind of in love with the way this looks. I like the bumpy texture on the top because it gives it some 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 yeah some character my mom just whispered character <laughs> all right guys so yeah she's gonna cut the uh others well actually i'm gonna show it to you um i don't know i can't remember if i did ooh, i'm just all over the place i can't remember if i did uh a picture in the slab this in the slab before it was cut but this will kind of give you an idea of what it looked like before i decided to uh, cut it all apart. There's one more piece, but it's not gonna fit in here. So that's kind of what it looked like Okay, guys. All right, so I'm gonna get this out of the way then my mom's gonna get to cutting and I'll be back Okay, again. guys, we're back. So she's gonna go ahead and start the cutting And she's gonna use one of her other cuts to measure to uh, cut the next bar Like I said, I, I did this with a uh, what soap was that? Uh, Cosmic blue and let me tell you Yep, I still got some small pieces that I just refused to sell, so we just end up using because it was just, it was terrible. I was, I was actually pretty sad that I screwed that soap up like that, so I have a free and cut another soap. Other than, what did I do? Oh, my soap cake, but I was okay with that because I used a wire cutter and it's kind of, you know, round. I'm going to show you the pieces as she cut them. So yeah, I'm like still very, very pleased. I love the colors in this soap. And also, I forgot to uh, tell you, I think that you, yeah, I did do a separate cutting video. Um... I'll attach it because it's not very long but what I did with the rest of uh, the soap that I wasn't able to put in this one because it um, you know you guys saw it, it turned into a mess on me I think this one I don't know I got I, I got some favorites here and I think this might be one of them because I love the colors in there and that mica okay camera okay there we go yeah you can see the glitters and the gold and the purple so I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that and it smells really really good again this was fragrance with um, Lush, a lush dupe called Rockstar, and it does smell pretty darn good. Kind of smell like I don't know, kind of smell like grape a little bit to me. I don't know, it's a, it's a very good, good fragrance. I like it. Okay, okay, there's another piece. So, I think I'm gonna get what, um. 16 bars, yeah, so that's not pretty bad. I mean, that's not pretty bad. That's <laughs> that's not bad. Uh, how many bars am I going to get out of this? And these are going to go up, and they'll probably be like three or four bucks. Probably like four bucks. Because they're still a good size. Even though they're thin, they're still a good size. And they'll be up in six weeks for those of you who are interested in buying. Oh, look at there. <laughs> what the heck happened? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're Did experiencing some wrong uh, way. technical difficulties, uh, guys. <laughs> That's okay. I think it turned the wrong way. All right, mm. let us get this sorted out, and we'll be mm. right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So this is the last cut of the soap. She thought she messed up, but no, it's absolutely perfect. Like I say any mistake of hers is still a greater accomplishment than I can do because I really mess up soaps freehand. That's terrible. I don't know why I can't cut straight. And also, guys, I um 
I'm restocking my Bora Bora and I thank you guys for just responding to that soap so well it just blew off the shelves and I already made the soap but it has had a facelift <laughs> I, I think I like the way it looked before um, I add a little bit more color this time so they're a little bit darker I'm going to show you what they look like still smells exactly the same still same beautiful smell um, but <laughs> my mom's over freaking out <laughs> got a little bit cricket oh well <laughs> it's fine <Okay>. so <laughs> i'm gonna show you guys these oh i showed you that one already done. That's it. <laughs> thanks mom You're welcome. so here they are That's those are really mom. pretty love those and um then i'll show you my bora bora yeah, put the light down maybe that's a little bit better um like I said, yeah, it, it is the same colors. They're just darker in the swirl pattern. Of course, you guys know the swirl pattern will never, ever be the same. So there we go. And this is not drawing with the peacock anymore. I haven't given it a name. I'm sure by the time I post it in my Etsy and my big cartel, it will have a name. It is gorgeous. So I'm going to name it something really, really cool. <laughs> my mom called it mind confusion. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'll come up with something cool for it. And also, for those of you who have been asking, uh, deer hunting is back as well. I made that last night, so it will be up in the shop in about six weeks. So this is the new look of my Bora Bora right here. Like I said, it still has the same colors as before. It's just, is it really light? I think it is. It's just, um, the colors are darker, and I think I reversed them. It was supposed to be green and pink with the purple swirls, but whatever. I still looks still looks good and smells great so that is it guys um once i get these cleaned up i will attach pictures at the end and i will most definitely show you guys what it looked like before it went um i guess my peacock decided to fly away out of my soap i don't know so until next time guys this is katie the messy soap Red. also be sure i know i say this a lot but i'm going to keep saying it be sure to check out my new channel which is called unconventional kenny and my mom's channel you can find it at delar la flora i will put both of those links to our other channels in the section below Go give us love and thumbs up and support. So until next time, guys, love you. Hugs and kisses. And I'll see you later. Hey, guys, this is Kennedy Messy Soaper at Royal Appleberry. And this soap is the soap that I wasn't able to use when I did my um my drawing a peacock out of soap video. And I, I didn't film that just because eh, it was just I didn't really know exactly what I was going to do with it. So I didn't film it. But um, it's been sitting because it had a higher water content you can see some of the water uh, separating here but it's been well not separating but uh drawing out of it it's been sitting for four days so i decided to go ahead and cut it i was actually supposed to be back in order <laughs> so i came and i looked at this i'm like you know i'm curious to see what's going on with this soap just because the soap was just a really weird texture uh if you guys saw my drawing a peacock out of soap video then you um you saw the soap what it looked like it was like very elastic and kind of it was funky so i didn't know what it was going to look like um once i put it in the mold so i just kind of didn't care <laughs> at one point it smells amazeballs trust me guys it does smell amazeballs but i didn't know what it was going to look like so i cut the end off just out of curiosity and when i saw it, i said i gotta cut this soap and film it because isn't that cool that is like super stinking cool i like the way that turned out and then you can actually see like the glitters. I don't know if my camera is picking up, but you can see the glitters and the gold. That is awesome sauce. Love it. So I had to cut this soap and show you guys. And it, I'm telling you, this is a Lush Dupe Rockstar. And it smells, oof, it smells great. It really does smell great. So I'm like pleasantly surprised. Hopefully I don't have like a whole bunch of uh, air bubbles in this soap. But I did mash it down and bang it. I banged the crap out of it. But I'm loving how all the colors are just standing out on their own. They're really showing up. So I was kind of sad that it thickened up and I wasn't able to use it in my drawing with a peacock soap. But this just turned out lovely. Look at that. I like the top. I like this whole bar of soap. That is a very, very cool looking bar of soap. And they're going to be little bitties. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to sell these for. But oh man, they smell good. They really, really do smell good. Because when I smell... Um, Rockstar out the bottle strap, but I liked it, but I wasn't in love with it But now it's like my entire kitchen because my soap dishes are sitting in there still because I haven't washed them But we're not gonna talk about that uh, <laughs> Whenever I go through my kitchen, that's all you can smell and it smells great. It really really does But I'm like so super pleased with this and I think this is just like a perfect uh, going into autumn uh, type soap because of the colors so 
it'll have a great cure time before I post it and it'll be ready and rare to go when I start doing all my fall soaps but of course if someone asks me you know be right after the six weeks if I haven't posted it if you want to buy it I will sell it but I'm loving this this is one cool looking soap it's always the ones that backfire on me <laughs> always the ones that backfire on me that turn out to look like really really cool and I was like really um kind of distraught about my uh, drawing with a peacock soap because of what happened to it but oh well I will do that soap again because it didn't turn out exactly like I wanted and it did turn out really pretty once I was you know I swirled it and all that stuff but um this I'm I think I'm more excited about this and this was just kind of a toss off that I kind of tossed off to the side and didn't care about and I was just going to get back to it at some point in life but I'm really really excited with the way that this turned out because those colors together are just Totes maze balls, guys. It really is. So I'm gonna clean up these puppies. Oh, they smell so good. I'm I'm loving this. I am like pleasantly surprised. I know I keep saying that, but I really am because I thought this soap was gonna be seriously ugh. I mean seriously ugh. <laughs> and if you don't know what I mean when I say ugh, it means ugly. So <laughs> but yes, this is nice. So nice. So nice. Yes. And for those of you who don't know, I do have a second channel. Uh, it's called Unconventional Kenny. I will leave all that information in the description section below. And you can go and check me out because I've done some really, really fun videos. Hunter and I, we've done a couple of videos. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just a silly person at heart. So I'm always doing something really, really silly. And I did like... Um, I'm not going to tell you guys. You got to go over there and check it out if you want to see it. It is some really, really fun stuff over there. I have four videos posted so far. I'm sure by the time this video goes on and on and on, say six months later, I'll have way more than that. But I try to do the same as I do here. Post videos weekly, but, you know, with working and life and all that. Sometimes it may kind of spill over into two weeks. But I do try, but most definitely go and check me out and support my other channel because it is a lot of fun. It's not soap making, but it's just like all kinds of craziness. So it is really, really fun, most definitely. And I thank you all that have already checked me out. You are awesome sauce. Love you to bits. I do, I do, I do. I'm so pleased to see you guys over there as well as over here. So you guys rock. You really do rock. <laughs> So you guys are the rock stars uh, in this video, not this soap, even though it's a rock star dupe. But you guys are totally, well, you're always rock stars because you guys support me so much and I love you. Love you, love you, love you. But I'm loving this soap too. And you know what? I just thought about it. Well, now, I was going to say you can actually, you can be a bar soap like this, right? But then I have the top and that's the bottom. And who wants to look at that? Not me. But yeah, so it was just a thought. Yeah, shame, shame on me. <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be packing orders. <laughs> but I was really, really curious. So, oh well, as soon as I'm done with this, I will be packing my orders. Get on my J-O-B. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just so happy. All the colors, they just really do pop. They really do pop. I mean, the teal is just so vibrant. And the green and just all the colors are so separate and vibrant. And I actually... Tossed it in the mold, like did a plop with the spoon, and then I took uh, a skewer and just kind of swirled it around. And it was thick and very, like, it had a lot of elasticity in it. It was just really stretchy. I don't know why it turned out that way. But soap, I tell you, you never know what you're going to get with soap making. But I was just like, I don't know what this is going to be like. But it was kind of like a putty in a sense because you were able to stretch it and move it and mold it. And it would swirl very easily and very fluid. But it was like stretchy that was just weird but i'm just i'm i'm happy i am happy so i'm gonna stop saying that <laughs> i think you guys get the point by now <laughs> but i am i really really am so yeah at least something good came out of that because my drawing with a peacock so backfired on me like i say it turned out nice but that's most certainly not what i wanted for certain <laughs> isn't what I wanted but oh well you can't always have what you want can you no no you can't okay and then I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna get quite a, yeah I'm getting quite a few bars out of these because normally I cut them I think like not an inch and a half um I think it's like one and three eighths am I saying no one and a quarter and um it has a little bit of thickness but these are 
don't know. They just seem very small. They're not super small. They're probably average compared to everyone else's soaps. But I just do big horkin soaps because I like to. But yeah, these, they fit nicely in your palm. So for those of you who like smaller soaps. And I have like teeny kid hands. So uh, it's a nice bar. So I think it's like probably like your average size bar of commercial detergent bar. Because it's not soap. But anyway, we're not going to get into that. Yeah. So... I'm almost at the end. Uh, I don't know. This is like, it can kind of fall into like Halloween as well, which of course I'm not going to do that. But the the fragrance is very, it's very mystical. It's, I can't even explain it. It's just a very, very good smell. And I love Lush, but I had never smelled Rockstar before. But everybody was just like raving about it. So I had to see what it was about. And I've had it for probably like, um, I think maybe four or five months I've had it. And I just didn't know what I was going to do with it but I think it was just meant for this sometimes certain soaps are just not meant to be made until that fragrance say hey you know what this is what I need to be made into and this most definitely is very fitting for that rock star dupe uh does this soap have a name yet mm, nope I'm thinking like <laughs> peacock poo that's terrible I'm joking but <laughs> Just because it just backfired on me. I said, well, you know, you don't deserve a good name. But since it turned out so pretty and it has uh, redeemed itself, I will come up with something. Something indeed. I don't know what it is yet, but I will. But yes, I'm loving these. I said I wasn't going to say it anymore and I lied. <laughs> yes, these are cool. Very, very cool. Uh, and they smell the maze balls. Again, I've said it. Okay. All right, so this is going to be chopped up into samples for those of you who purchase soaps. You do always get samples, at least four or five samples from me. I just do that. I like to give you a lot. So that is it, guys. I love you so much. And if you're just joining my channel, welcome. I am so glad that you are here. I'm so glad that you found my channel or maybe somebody suggests, hey, go check out that crazy lady, Kenny, over at Royal Appleberry. Um... If you like what you see here or you like me or you like us both, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe because I would love to have you as a part of my stinking awesome crew because my subscribers are stinking awesome. But you guys already know that. And for the ones that are always here, you know I love you. Love you to bits and pieces. Sure do. So guys, that is it. Until next time. And don't forget to check out my second channel. Like I said, I'll leave the information down below. And you'll get to see my face for those of you who have not ever seen me. Um, it's not like, you know, just something you need to see, but my face is always there and Hunter's there too, because I know a lot of you, what does she look like? You know, things like that. She's there most definitely. So you'll get to meet both of us. You know us, but you have never, all you see is this, but and you just hear Hunter's voice. <laughs> so you get to see both of us. Yes. Yes, indeed. So you can put a face with the voice in the hands. So I've chattered on enough because I'm like super duper excited about this soap. Because I'm telling you guys, when I cut that first video, I'm like, wow, yes, I got to get in there and cut it and film. So I did. So guys, I'm going bye-bye because I have to pack some orders and cook dinner. So until next time, love, 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 hugs and kisses from my fishes, which are my lips. And I'll see you next time. Bye.